And the puzzle is to arrange four pieces into the letter T. I'm close, aren't I? <sighs> Not really. Really? Yeah. There. It's it's a T. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Dope or Nope. Today I'm your host, Matthias. And I'm bringing you 10 puzzle that look hard, <laughs> but are actually easy. I forgot the name of the title, it's right in front of me. It's literally in size 80 font. If you're new to Dope or Nope though, the whole point of this channel is that we look at absurd, crazy, fun products and we just have a blast doing it. You're along for the ride, I'm along for the ride. My buddy here, Tanner, behind the camera's along here for the ride. Chicka, 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 what's up, Slim Shady? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what's up. These puzzles are like all under level five. They're relatively easy. Now, <laughs> relative is a relative term, <laughs> which means it might not be easy for me because I'm a Doofus. So calm down if you're like a puzzle master G. You know, I can't just be a puzzle expert and an expert of everything else. Just give me some slack. First product. So we're over here at Mr. Puzzle Australia. Almost all of these puzzles we got from Australia. So shout out to my Aussies out there. <laughs> what, what? How many of you like sleep in a kangaroo pouch? <laughs> but that's common. Bunch of Joey's over there. <laughs> Bunch of Joey's over there. Everyone's just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Moans go off in the yeah. comments. We got a Chinese secret opening box. Good fortune. So if you're able to open this, you get good fortune for the rest of the time, or at least how long it's open. Once you shut it, the fortune's gone, obviously. Good fortune will certainly be shining on you when you manage to crack open this Chinese puzzle box. See, I told you. The object is to open the Chinese puzzle box to reveal the space inside. No. Once you understand how you can hide something inside to keep it safe. Once you understand how you can hide something inside to keep it safe. Does that make sense? No, that's definitely not a full sentence. Okay, those Aussies write weird. <laughs> <laughs> they write upside down, you know, that's the way it works. Difficulty level one. Manufacturer, new toys. <laughs> Designer, no one wants to take credit for this. How about just all of the Chinese? <laughs> just all of the Chinese? <laughs> that is a Chinese puzzle box. They gotta be responsible. Add to cart! Okay, you see this? Nondescript package. We about to get some good fortune. Oh wait, I don't wanna know how to solve it. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna try to solve it myself. This is level one. I don't understand. How am I supposed to not break it? <gasps> oh, okay, okay. There's this little thing here. If I pull this up, I can push this back. What do you mean I couldn't get that? <laughs> you looked at it like you've never seen anything like it. Like, what? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really know exactly what I did. <laughs> I just kind of jiggled it until it happened. But let's let's deconstruct this a little bit better, okay? So the idea is you can't move it back and forth or, or side to side, but there's this piece here that pops out. If you could take a look at this, you could see that once you pop it out, there's like these little knobs on the side, right? And you could spin this, and maybe that gives you a little space to move up and over. That's it. And then inside, they ship it with a bunch of fruit roll-ups. These are Aussie delicacies. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. I think the Dover Nope team put that in there. We so did. that I wouldn't be like all underwhelmed when I solved it. So this is how you solve a fruit roll up. You just rip and then put it in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I read that a dope. Very good for small kids. Next item, trick, wooden puzzle box, small wooden crate. What nationality made this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about nationalities now for you, isn't it? The puzzle is to open the box. Wait, the puzzle is to open the puzzle box. Dude, their sentences here are puzzles. It's like an enigma wrapped in a sentence. What's an enigma? It's like a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Great for hiding a small gift inside to add an extra level of frustration for the recipient. <laughs> Not pleasure for when you solve it, just extra frustration for when you're like, hey, guess what? Guess what I put inside there? Your car keys, and guess what? Work starts in five minutes, sucker! And then you leave. How many of you would that frustrate? Probably like 2% because I would assume none of you have jobs. Add to cart. Boom, here we go, we got it. All right, again, don't want the instructions. Gonna throw those away, because guess what? This puzzle box is a difficulty level of three. Manufacturer, no one. Designer, no one. This one is divine. Came directly from heaven. No one designed, it's just always existed, it's eternal. Why do you think this one looks difficult? Because it doesn't look like anything can happen on it. It just looks like it's just, someone just boxed it up. But look, if you, you take like subtle little cues like this, you can kind of see some things shift around, right? You can kind of see like this piece looks like it's all connected like that. It's one of those things where you like, you know you're missing something and you just have to like kind of poke and jiggle at things. Okay, I definitely see how this piece could come up here. 
Dude, I solved that quick. I like that, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly shocked you solved it because you were like, you noticed what the problem was with it, but you weren't even close. So I was like, oh, he's not gonna get this one. And then- uh, What do you mean I wasn't close? You were like touching, but you touched the exact opposite spots. You looked on the back, you looked confused. I did not look confused. I was just playing it up for the camera. The first time I tried to solve it, I did it. One try, one trick pony. No, I mean, I got multiple tricks. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Uh, I wanna know down in the comments below. Did you know how to solve this before I solved it? Or were you like, hmm, how's he gonna solve it? Don't lie. All right, because if any of you say, oh, I know, you're lying. I know it. <laughs> I like it. I say go. Next item. Han Hana hai Hanayama key ring cast brain teaser. This will tease your brain. This will tease your brain right out of your skull. You'll only be able to say you've done this puzzle when the words key ring can be read both right way up and upside down once you take it apart and reassemble it. What? A brilliant Scott Kim ambigram. Ambigram? That's a new word for me in my brain. Flip script. Oh. Something that looks the exact same upside down. Yeah. Add corn. Okay, here we go, guys. Tanner says this one's supposedly very difficult. So the idea of this is that it has to say key and key in the same order. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The goal is to separate them. Like. Yeah, the goal is to separate them. I will say, I know the main way you're supposed to kind of solve it is you leave one with like static and you the other one kind of moves it as the key. So like, gold one normally is just kind of in the same angle. <gasps> oh, I see. See these little hinges right here and the little notches in there? Like, see that little notch right there? That's supposed to go through that somehow. So the idea is I need to line them up in such a fashion like that, you see? But that's not working for some strange reason. Am I close? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you kidding me, dog? This is by far and away the most frustrating one because you feel like you're making progress and you never are. How much time do I have? Um, we have... <gasps> <laughs> right when we said it. Nice job, bro. <laughs> Bet you can't do it again. <laughs> I had no idea what I did. I just wiggled it a lot. Every time we've solved it, we tried solving it by going along with it and it gets you close, but then you just kind of have to go for it until you find out. My favorite kind of puzzle. The one we get lucky. Yeah, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just took it off like that. I feel like I did that eight times and it didn't work. Dang it, man. As a puzzle, this is dope, but I need to figure out what I did. What? <laughs> you can't even put it back together. No, no, I, I need to put it back together the opposite way, but I can't. Ah. Uh, Ah, this is maddening. <laughs> he resolved it. <laughs> I resolved it. <laughs> I mean, like, this is a dope because it's it's definitely difficult for sure. I'll give that one a dope because it bested me. Okay. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments below. Uncaged star, also known as the hedgehog. Oh, hedgehog in the cage. I get it because he's spiky. So it's this little spiky ball in a cage. And I guess you're supposed to get the spiky ball out of the cage. Did we order blue for Sonic? We did <laughs> not order blue for Santa. Sanic. <laughs> the puzzle is to remove the shuttle from within the cage, better known as Hedgehog in the Cage. This puzzle has its roots firmly in the Czech Republic. Difficulty hard, but not extreme. Difficulty level five. So this is a little bit more difficult than the normal puzzles that we have here, but it still looks simple. But that's all I need to say. <laughs> I will say, I am the puzzle master. Hey, what? And I don't think this so one who? is nearly as hard as the other one. Either. You don't think this one's nearly as hard? And this is level five. So you're calling yourself a level five genius. It is my IQ, so it's pretty Five? Low. Yeah, it's out of five out of five, right? Yes. <laughs> Add a card! Look at this guy. You can uncage. Wait, I'm dyslexic. Okay, calm down. Can you uncage Star Puzzle? The Star Puzzle? <laughs> Just me? Anyone? Can you uncage Star Puzzle? I caveman. I cannot do it. <laughs> uh, look, there's the answer. I'm not gonna look at it. You looked at it. You can pause it if you want to be a cheater. But we're not gonna do that. Ooh, it's plastic. I thought it'd be metal. Okay, so this one, level five difficulty. I'm assuming I have to like spin it in like a way and then like ease it in and out. I don't know. Like this is definitely gonna be difficult. Am I allowed to like bend it a little bit? No, that doesn't do anything. So Can you I... are allowed to bend it a little bit. You're allowed to bend the spikes on the ball, not the poles on the cage. Not the poles on the cage. What am I doing here? I could see how this could be very frustrating and I need that release of it being solved. I don't even know what I'm trying to do here, to be honest with you. I'm just wiggling a ball in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that. So yeah, you have a pretty close instinct. The goal is to spin the ball to try and get as many of the ball's legs outside of the cage as you can uh, at a time. So you kind of just want to keep spinning it and rotating it different ways till you get more of the legs out. Oh, okay. Generally out of the same side of the cage. Too. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, look at that. I got a lot out of there. So now what I can do, I can kind of keep spinning until I get oh, now, that out. And I can, did that one go back in though? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. gasps> Level five, my tushy. This is difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
You got it. I mean, like, I don't think I cheated. No, that's how you're supposed to do it. Heck yeah, dude. Can we just have me categorized as a genius now? I mean, your IQ is at least five now. Pleasure to have you in a genius club. <laughs> oh, this ring squished all my fingers together. I also have a little five grip. Geniuses have delicate hands. Calm down. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? Down in the comments below. Out of 10, what do you rate this? I'm going to say it's a dope because it's fun. Because then you could, like, work on, like, just putting it back in. It didn't take that much time, but I, I don't know. Depending on your love for puzzles, it might take you longer. It might take you shorter. Depends on your difficult love, difficulty level. And moving on. The Lament Configuration. It's a Hellraiser puzzle box. So basically that is a movie, like a really creepy thing. I've, I've seen it. It's like a cult classic, I think. Dude's got spikes in his face. Don't Google it if you're a little sensitive to spikes in the face. I'm sure most people are. But <laughs> this is handmade on Etsy, which is pretty dope. And I don't want to show you the other pictures down there because that's kind of how you solve it. This is probably the easiest thing to solve. And it's kind of satisfying to look at too. Uh, the Lament Configuration, aka the Hellraiser Puzzle Box, is a great prop addition for any fan. The cube is made up of two parts. Each part is then painted. You can change the configuration. Well, add the cart. $50. You're not ripping me off at all. It's handmade, so it, you know, could be nice. Nice. Look at this. So here's a little bit of things that's creepy. This is a 3D printed hand holding device. It holds it. Kind of creepy for those creeps out there. If you're a creep and you're like a self-proclaimed creep. Who? Huh? Nailed that joke. <laughs> if you're a self-proclaimed creep, you might like this. For me, I don't know. I don't like hands. Hey, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try and scratch your back with it? No. Yeah, this feels good. It sounds like it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Just rough and hard. Okay, get rid of this thing. That's not the idea. The idea is this, okay? So we can take a look and you can kind of see how intricate this is. It looks really cool, to be perfectly honest with you. And you know what's even cooler? When you kind of separate it. This is really satisfying. It's actually a little difficult to do because you have to hold the piece correctly. You see that? It's actually really cool from that view. Yeah, it adds the shadows to it. So, but here, here, here's what's up. This is how it works. Isn't that cool? What's crazy is it looks super difficult looking. Yeah. It's going to be scary. Do you think this is actually really easy? Do you think if I walk around with people, they're just going to be like, what do you mean? Just put it together like this. Or do you think people might have a little trouble with it? I think they'd have a little bit of initial trouble. Let's walk around and see what people think. Okay. Wrecked. I'm the only one here. I don't care. You're the only one I care about. You're the only one for me. I don't believe that at all. You're the only <laughs> <laughs> I want you to solve this. Wait, what is it? It's, a, it's a puzzle. Well, how obviously. Are you, but like, actually it? not is solving it, it right now. Like, wait, hold on. Am I dumb? Is oh my this... word, I'm actually surprised how long it's taking. Stop! Am I stupid? Hold on. I think you're just holding it incorrectly. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I was like, in my hand it just kept falling apart. I was like, this is, this bit's never gonna work. He was like, how does that, how does that, I don't understand. It like, just really sad. Well, thanks for making me feel bad about myself. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, let's go check with the editors really quick. Knock, knock, editors. <laughs> just me. Hey, you're more <laughs> That's than... what the last guy said. <laughs> Alright, so I need you to solve this. Yeah, that's really easy. I'll do this really quick. Ten. Uh, nine. Uh, eight. Uh, Seven, uh, so six, <laughs> five, uh, four. Uh, you just keep it. spinning it. <laughs> Two, <laughs> one. Wait, wait. I'm an editor. Can I use like the power of editing just to like? Yes, I... you do have that superpower. Okay. Three, two, one. Now do it again. No. I can't. <laughs> oh wait, wait. Actually, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. <laughs> ah, the Chinese have struck again. <laughs> Secret opening puzzle box. Chinese pine. Ooh, you think it's actually pine? You think the pine's from China? I don't know. How much does it cost? I'm gonna guess no. There's a small drawer and another compartment in the top to find before you can say that you've solved this Chinese puzzle box. What are your sentences? <laughs> oh my gosh, your sentences are puzzles. Let me tell you. There are more elements to opening this puzzle box than just sliding the panels. Idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Doesn't it sound like idiot could be at the end of that sentence? That sounds like more Australian if you put idiot at the end of it. <laughs> First, you will have to release the lock that stops the panels from sliding. Even when you've done that, there's still a number of steps to open the puzzle box, so relax. <laughs> That's just how it sounds. There is more than one compartment to the box to open, duh. It's just how I imagined when they were typing it. And the cart! I'm actually really stoked for this one because this one looks really cool. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's intricate looking and cool. I might need those instructions. But wait, go back to this for a second. This is from Me Toys 2, and it's a difficulty level of three. <laughs> okay. Designer, again, no one wants to take credit for it. It's pretty though. Looks like some diarrhea splattered on it, but okay. Rather break unyielding. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> 
It says rather break unyielding. It must mean something else in Chinese. I would rather break you, but you are unyielding. <laughs> the thing about these types of boxes, when you try and solve them, and to be honest with you, this is like the first time I've ever tried to solve anything. Okay, so I'm gonna undo this thing first, maybe as a first step. We can see there's something inside of that. Then maybe this releases a compartment. Maybe this loosens this, no. Mm. Ooh, say the magic words, rather break unyielding. Rather break unyielding. Now try. Something's happening. <gasps> I knew the magic words would do it. That's it. Should be a little bit more. There's more? Heck yeah. Yeah, you're right. It, it did say there's more, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so now the question is, what more? Does this come off even farther now? There's gotta be something like hidden in this. <gasps> Ooh, I found something. Ooh, I like that. I feel like when like the Iron Man suit articulates in different ways, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or like Doctor Strange when the reality folds on itself. Oh, and that comes right off. <laughs> Oh, I saw that pretty quick. Yeah, you actually ran through that one. It's the magic words. Yeah, rather, rather some, rather what? I like that one. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's really cool. Dope or no, brother, what do you think? I would say this is an absolute dope. This one's really cool. That was fun. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Tea time, wood nut tea dissection puzzle. And the puzzle is to arrange four pieces into the letter T, but you won't find any hints on how to do that in my photo. It's like literally one right there. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. This is the level two, okay? So the manufacturer, They've got a bit of a dilemma. They don't know who the designer is. That's what their dilemma is. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Guys, let's just buy this and get it over with. Add a cart. So I'm not kidding with you here. This is literally how they sent it to us. Okay, so this is how they sent it to us. Okay, so I'm gonna put this out and not look at this. Clearly, I can't do it. Oh, wow, this is a little bit difficult. Can't we make the tea? Ooh. Almost, dude. I think it's actually almost correct. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not because this did it. Yeah. You know it's gonna be put together in like an, in, in a very like odd way, but the bottom has to be something. This is actually a little difficult. Harder than you expect, huh? Way harder than you expect. No, it can't be that. These pieces of wood aren't even the same size. All right, I got the solution. Let me know when you're ready. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> I made a straight line. <laughs> there, it's, it's a T. No, it's not. I'm close, aren't I? Not really. Really? Yeah. You're thinking too elementary with it. I would have done like, the exact same thing without looking. Too geometric. Yeah. I know. I know it's something like really odd that like I, I have to like put together in like a weird way, you know, like like this or something, you know. <laughs> okay, tell me. All right, let me show you. you got oh wait, this. I see it right here. Oh gosh. Wow. Nailed it. That was way more difficult than I thought it'd be. I knew it was gonna be something like that. I just couldn't see it. I couldn't either until I saw this picture and I was like, ah, makes I'm what sense. you call the stupid. So what do you? You think? Uh, like, I, at first I was gonna be like, I don't know, it's just like playing blocks. But now, like, I couldn't get it. I absolutely had to look at the key to solve that, which is right there. I rate that a dope. I, I think that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Twist and lock wooden robot transformer. Oh, I get it. Cause when you undo it all, it's like a little boop boop bop. It's a little robot. <laughs> What's that? That was a robot. That's how me and Luna do the robot. This is cool though. I dig it. And then you gotta fold it back into a cube, which is literally kind of like what transformers do. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute, bro. Just lower the, the pitch on that a little bit. That'll sound like Optimus Prime big time. Come on. He pitches it up. <laughs> Something <like> Mario. <laughs> Manufactured. Don't you dare ask. No. <laughs> Add the card. <laughs> Okay, it looks like Tanner was like goofing off with this earlier. So yeah, it came in the cube, we solved it, and we figured out how to make it into a robot, and it was super sick. It was actually pretty easy to get a robot. I believe you can do it. What the heck was that? Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Our blavery robot, I believe you can do it. It's easy to solve. We got it as a cube, we solved it for the robot, but we couldn't get it back into cube formation. Okay, let me just get it back into robot form first. And there is nothing on the internet that tells you how to solve this one. Wow, it sounds diffy. Oh, I see how it can be very difficult. Wow, because all the pieces just can like do whatever and they can do nothing at the same time. Wow. See, if you can see like these little cubes, the reason why they have slits in them is because it allows them to hinge where the string is holding them together. And so when you hold it down, you can hinge everything back down. Fascinating. And there you go. There's the robot. He's like a little robot and he can he can stand up and he can be like, beep boop, beep boop. You and Luna again or? No, that's just the movie's transform. That's just the movie Transformers. <laughs> okay, now let's try to get this puppy back into a cube. It honestly took our team like 45 minutes trying to get this thing into a cube. I'm gonna stink at this. I understand where I've gone wrong though. This is definitely difficult. I'm struggling. I'm not sure how to get the pieces into the correct spot. See, wow, this is so difficult. This is like a Rubik's cube without the uh, strategy behind it, you know? I'm very close. <laughs> this is exactly where we got. <laughs> All right, you think it's a dope or a nope? I think this is a dope because I could definitely spend some time really solving this. But I 
I, I much prefer the, the puzzles where you like kind of have to think and look at it for a little bit. I don't know. I, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta think this through a little bit more, but I'll say this one's a dope. Hinja 3D reusable origami, 120 piece packs. Hinja brings origami to the 21st century using fantastic durable plastic pieces that you don't have to fold yourself. Cause folding's the hard part. <laughs> it's based on a modular origami with one basic folded paper shape. So many complex patterns and designs can be built from this basic shape. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I see. You could do all these intricate, cool little origami things. You know, my aunt used to do origami. Bobby's mother, she was very good at it. It's very cool. Yeah, I trust you. I have <laughs> a lot of respect for origami. It just like takes patience, time, and like dedication. Manufacturer, no. Difficulty level, no. Designer, no. Add the cart. Okay, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you right now. You're not gonna get good origami out of me. So don't be hoping for that. You're not gonna get it. Calm down, put your pants back on. <laughs> Put your pants back. Somebody with their pants off just got scared like, watching this video. Puts their pants back on. <laughs> They're like literally watching it, taking their pants off. Wait, what? <laughs> it's origami, but without the boring bits. <laughs> what parts of origami are boring that you're not doing in this? <laughs> what parts of origami aren't boring? <laughs> Good point. Like maybe the finished build when you show it to people. Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to do something with this? This just gave me high anxiety. <laughs> I just got so much anxiety from looking at this, thinking I have to do something with this. I, I I have uh, oh my a fix gosh. for this though. I have a YouTube video that you can look at that can show you how to make boxes if you want. Well, look, I'm just making a box right now. The box has been finished. <laughs> it just looks like a takeout box. <laughs> you see? So I just worked on this for about five minutes. We fast forwarded it. <laughs> Nailed it, first try. And I made a little box. Look at this, what do you guys think about my box? Honestly, you could probably live in it. What do you guys think about this rectangle? <laughs> what do you say like? <laughs> what do you guys think about <laughs> this other box? <laughs> It's the only thing we can make. <laughs> How creative is Hi-Fi Studios about this much? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a no. That's just me though. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is that a dope or a nope? Do you like origami or do you like the real origami stuff? Let me know down in the comments below. Next product. Cubie forms stacked cubes wooden puzzle. The puzzle is to assemble the pieces into the complex shape of eight cubes around a central core cube. So literally what it looks like. This is what you're supposed to solve it as. This is by Me Toys again, difficulty level three designer. Don't even talk about the designer. That's a no, add to cart. Guys, this is next level. What, are you kidding me? It's overwhelming. Oh my gosh, this gave me anxiety. I'm supposed to do something with this? It's like a three dimensional puzzle. I don't like regular flat 2D puzzles. <laughs> Work monkey. Oh my goodness. This would take so long for me to figure out. <laughs> I don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. I assume like pieces that fit together like that, but that still doesn't do anything. Wow. This is more of a traditional puzzle, kind of like a, what are those puzzles that you just this do with your traditional? friends? You do with your friends, you know? Like, oh, it's a thousand piece puzzle. It's not like a brain teasing kind of puzzle. It's more of like a, there's eight cubes on top one. What the heck are you talking Sorry, about? Sorry, I just had bad congestion. <laughs> no, 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 what are you talking about? So you know how there's like picture puzzles? That's kind of what this is more in my opinion, where it's just like building. Hard mode? I don't even see. I don't even see how these fit together. Let me show you the instructions we got. This is the only instructions you can find of this product. Oh my goodness. You have to like start swiveling things 180 degrees? And they don't tell you which cube it connects to out of the four. It doesn't tell you like, or out of the eight technically. Okay, I'm saying this is not a level three. It says it's a level three. This this is supposed to be a puzzle that I can solve, Tanner. You're making me look bad. I thought it was gonna be an easy boy. And guess what it came out as? A hard boy. <laughs> what stage are we at now? Like, I can see this. It doesn't look at all like what you guys are, oh, I see, like here, kind of? Ish. So like, you're, I'm supposed to take like this type of piece and like slide it in and then slide it up? This is just a hard puzzle that is hard. <laughs> I do see these guys like go like this. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm, 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 I'm getting somewhere. You know no, I saying? definitely think you're onto something. Good enough. <laughs> there, that only took me a year, but I completed one right here, you see? And then I'm supposed to complete all of these on the other side to make it look like a cube that's like attached to other cubes. Wow, that's intense. And you know what? It's only six bucks and it's discontinued. I now know why. I'm gonna just rate this one a nope just because the pieces don't really fit together properly. But other than that, yeah, I mean like you could, you could get it together with some splinters, but <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Nope. Hope you enjoyed this. It was a blast to solve some of these puzzles. I really got a kick out of looking looking smart. So hopefully I made you look smart if you're gonna get some of these in front of your friends. So click this video if you want more puzzle madness because you probably can't solve these no matter how hard you try. And this over here is a video that YouTube recommends. So click that and we'll see you next time. High five.